Hello everybody, back here on William here. So as you can see, it is very early in the morning, 5.50 a.m. and Mrs. Backyard Bullion and I have decided to get up this early because we are off to Estonia. Now Estonia is a little tiny country near Finland, near Russia in Eastern Europe and we are going there because we are going to be visiting the European Mint. Now the European Mint, for those of you who don't know, is a uh, company where I buy all of my silver shot for all of my hand poured silver making uh, and I am going there to meet them we're going to pick up some silver shot but also we thought we'd make a little bit of a Christmas vlog about the whole experience because Estonia at this time of year is very very pretty it is going to be very wintry pretty cold probably a bit of snow but no guarantee of that uh, lots of Christmas markets so sit back relax and enjoy as we share with you guys our Christmas trip to Estonia Welcome one and all to Tallinn, which is the capital city of Estonia. Now Mrs Backyard Bullion and I had a couple of days to spare before we were due to meet the European Mint, so we took full advantage of everything that Tallinn had to offer. And I have to say, Tallinn is a really very cool city indeed. It's very Nordic feeling, it doesn't feel like an Eastern European city. And it's steeped in history as well, the old town centre is a thousand years old and it's surrounded by these huge medieval town walls and in the city centre itself there's all of these cobbled streets and alleyways it's the kind of place that you can just wander around for hours at a time finding new places to uh, eat and shop and it's just really very cool indeed but as you can see Christmas was in full flow so lots of Christmas lights are out and then of course the Christmas market itself which was a great place to go and get some hot mulled wine to stave off the cold temperatures it wasn't actually that cold though. It did snow for a couple of days, but uh, we had basically temperatures around the freezing point most of the time. So we packed all of these layers, but it wasn't really needed. It was quite pleasant actually. And on some of the days we were there, we had really gorgeous weather, absolutely amazing. Now because we were so far north, the sun doesn't get very high in the sky and it's only light for about five or six hours a day. But as you can see, it's absolutely glorious. Now you can't go to Tallinn without sampling some of the local cuisine and as I said it's very Nordic feeling, there's a lot of beer and just general 
meat dishes, there was pork dishes galore, and it was very, very pleasant indeed. But the European mint beckons, and on we must go to pick up the silver shot, uh, which is ultimately the reason why we came to Estonia in the first place. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the sights and sound of Estonia. I have to say, Estonia is a fantastic country, really enjoying just staying here. It's a really great medieval town. Uh, but this is the main purpose of the trip and we have arrived at the European Mint and we are greeted by 20 kilos worth of silver shot. This is gonna keep me busy for a good old time. Uh, been a really interesting experience actually to come to the European Mint and actually pick up everything. I can't show you too much of the actual European Mint itself, but uh, tomorrow there will be a interview uh, that I'm having with the manager of the European Mint, so make sure that you stick around for that tomorrow. But as you can see, we've got uh, the 20 kilos here. It's all divided up into various different um, buckets and bags. I guess you could say this is bag membership level. And we've got the small bucket membership level here, but we do have a big bucket to fit it all in. So the next task after this is to, um, is to make our way back to the hotel and then sort out everything for having it in the hand luggage, which is gonna be a monumental task in of itself. So hopefully everything will go to plan and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later in the hotel. Okay guys, so we are back at the hotel and wow, what an experience that was to actually go to uh, the European Mint, to go to any bullion dealers. First time I've ever gone to a bullion dealer, which is in itself a really great thing. Uh, not a lot of bullion dealers have the option to actually come in and collect. So uh, thanks very much to them for the opportunity for that. Uh, and also to meet them and to actually uh, talk about the silver shop and uh, just generally everything that you do. There'll be a lot more to share with you guys in tomorrow's kind of interview uh, that we did with the European Mint, so make sure you stick around and catch that tomorrow. But now comes the really fun part of trying to get all of this silver shot home. Now you've seen that we flew over, uh, rather than taking the 1800 mile drive. Uh, so we are going to be flying back with this all in our hand luggage. Now we don't have any weight allowances in our hand luggage, which is great but obviously we have to fit it all in, in terms of volume and space. And, uh, and also these buckets, which we have three of that we need to, uh, to bring back, are not gonna be very practical, as you can see all the shots loose in there. And if this bu bucket, it's a pretty sturdy bucket, but if, uh, if it broke, it would be a very big mess and you don't want to deal with that on the middle of a plane or in an airport. So what we've done is we've brought these uh, monster boxes. We've brought two empty monster boxes and inside we have all of these business card boxes, these little plastic business card boxes and uh, rather handily these all contain just over a kilo of silver shot each. So we'll have uh, two of these, 10 boxes in each, 10 kilos in each, 20 kilos total uh, and hopefully then that will all fit into our hand luggage and we'll be able to uh, take that home. Uh, flying obviously with silver shot is going to be an interesting experience. Flying back through an international border is going to be an interesting experience, but we are all within the European Union at the moment, so uh, I can't foresee any major issues at all. So hopefully everything will go very nicely and smoothly. But um, yeah, I mean, what a fantastic experience. As I said, make sure you check out tomorrow's video with the kind of interview that we've done with the European Mint. Fantastic organization. I really do uh, think they're very, very good. I've done a lot of business with them this year, and I would highly recommend them as a customer um, to anybody. So yeah, now Mrs. Backyard Bullion and I are going to spend the next hour or so packing all of this silver shot into these little business card holders. So we'll catch up with you guys a little later. There we go, and as if by magic, we've got the 20 kilos all nicely stored away in the monster boxes. So that's all there is to say. I hope you enjoy the last little leg of the journey home. Uh, but otherwise, all that's left for me to say is a massive thank you for everybody for watching. And please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.